What's going on guys? It's Eric again, back with another video. In a pretty familiar spot, if you've been along with me throughout these, what goodness, how long have I had this channel? About five years. Uh, this is kind of my weekend ramble, uh, where I just kind of push everything else out of the way. I just turn the camera on and I just kind of talk to you guys here. Instead of putting sports up here, like the Lions and the Tigers, and pretty much anything else that I kind of do on here. I just kind of want to focus on myself, kind of give you guys an update uh, about kind of what's been going on here. The big thing is going to be about restarting my channel here. So with that being said, as you guys know, I took a, a little bit of time off since February uh, of this year. I kind of restarted it kind of here and there, kind of plugged a couple of videos in here and there for you guys. So I'm still doing well. As you guys can tell, I still haven't lost any weight or anything like that. That's one thing we're going to get into here. Um, but the big thing about it was I, I thought it was time. I thought it was time to uh, kind of restart this channel here a little bit, even though I'm not really um, pressed on making videos or anything like that. Uh, I don't, really don't know what my upload schedule is going to be here. I don't know if it's going to be every day, every other day, maybe every week or something like that. I really just kind of really don't know what this channel is all going to kind of bring. And I kind of put something out on Twitter, I think it was maybe, goodness, three or four weeks ago, and I kind of said something like to the effect of, hey, uh, I sure I kind of restart my YouTube channel. And uh, one of my uh, one of the guys that watches my channel is named Mandy Morris. He does uh, Detroit... Uh, lines and I think he maybe does Tigers kind of here and there. I know he's a big Pistons fan. Uh, he said, hey Eric, I always enjoyed your videos. Why did you, I can't really understand why you stopped. And I said, well, I'm not really all that good at it. Kind of had a maybe two or three kind of message banter on here. I said, I don't really feel like I'm, uh, really don't feel like I could really contribute anything and my videos don't really get a whole lot of views or anything like that. He goes, he said, hey, I, I enjoy them. I enjoy your kind of point of view, and I wish you would kind of kind of go along with that uh, and kind of continue on. So uh, kind of inspiring about that, and a couple other people kind of reached out to me kind of when I stopped here and said, hey, kind of what's going on? Is everything okay? All that sort of stuff. So everything is okay. I just needed a little bit of time off, kind of, kind of reassess kind of where I'm at, and kind of just making videos was kind of far, far down on here. You guys see kind of all the projects that I'm doing here. Yesterday's video I put, I got doing the deck here, which is like, it's going to be another humid day today. It's supposed to be upper 80s, probably close to 90 uh, doing uh, doing stuff around here. So I'm not going to do that stuff until the humidity comes back down because you guys know my size, my weight, uh, I can get heat stroke and heat exhaustion here pretty easily. And really kind of doing any kind of physical work puts me, uh, uh, I get tired like really quick. Now, I sit in a chair for eight, nine hours a day at a desk job, so, and I don't really do any real physical activity, which that's gonna kind of gonna start kind of coming around here because I, I find myself as I do this kind of physical activity, um, like I kind of said, I, I get winded easily. I get tired easily. Um, I feel like I have no energy when I'm kind of doing this kind of stuff here. So that's just kind of got to get uh, addressed here a little bit. I haven't been to the doctor since COVID's kind of hit. Uh, my my doc, actual doctor retired, so I'm trying to find a different doctor uh, around the area. And it's really hard trying to find doctors that are going to take on new patients. Uh, there was a place over, if you guys are familiar with Michigan, uh, over with Potterville. Uh, there's a doctor over there. I've been trying to, we were kind of playing phone tag here a little bit. I still kind of get that done and taken care of. So I can get to the doctor. I can get my blood pressure under control because I was on blood pressure medicine because hypertension runs in my family and my blood pressure is high. So just kind of addressing kind of medical issues and I kind of touched on them here in the past, even though they were relatively minor stuff. I don't want to do anything to become major, like a heart attack or having diabetes or a stroke or kind of anything like that. I know I've got to get that done and taken care of and kind of playing a little bit of phone tag right now to get me uh, in and get, get my issues addressed and all that sort of stuff. It's mainly just hypertension. And still, I got to get my uh, CPAP machine done. I don't, don't know if any of you guys uh, notice I had my CPAP machine. I did a video on that and how that's kind of changed my life. Uh, it really has changed my life. If you guys go back on there, I'll try to put the card. I think it's going to be either up here or up here. I can never remember if the camera's always inverted on this. But if you guys want to see that video, I'll go ahead and I'll stick it up here uh, as a card. If you guys want to watch that video, which I think is a couple of years old by now. But that's got to get addressed. So I got a couple of things I got to get addressed around here, uh, only for myself, around the house, and kind of things like that. The dating scene really hasn't, and you guys are probably sick of me saying this kind of thing. Uh, the dating scene uh, hasn't been kind to me. Uh, 
I, I've been trying to find somebody and it's either a lot of people are just just kind of seem to be um, busy because they have kids or single moms they got want to do stuff for the kids I completely understand that but I kind of at the same time I kind of feel like you know if you're really kind of wanting somebody in your life you're gonna find time to bring them in and even if it's just sitting down having a couple uh, maybe a cup of coffee a couple cups of coffee or maybe a couple of drinks to kind of sit down and just sit and chit chat that's all I'm really looking forward to or go hey Hey, so-and-so, do you want to go do something, you know? We don't necessarily are going to get married or be, you know, be in a more serious relationship or anything like that. I just want to find someone that I can go do something of the opposite sex and kind of go do something on there and build off that. That's all I'm really looking for. And it's really hard to try to find someone like that. Online dating, to me, is atrocious for me. I go and I message women, message women, message women. And I can't get any responses back here. So I don't know if it's just me, if it's my outward appearance. Let's let's face it, guys. My outward appearance is pretty, pretty bad. I stepped on the scale this morning right here. Uh, five pounds away from 300 pounds. So my weight's still a big factor. I know it is a big factor. Uh, no one kind of wants to be with a guy this big. So I got that's why I'm going to get that addressed. Um, <clears throat> or maybe it's just because women kind of think that on an online dating kind of thing, men are kind of out there for... One thing, they're either for um, sex or they're thinking they might get abused or something like that or kidnapped, which is to, for women, I completely understand that kind of stuff. But at some point, you kind of really got to take your, kind of put those worries aside until you get to know that person and kind of get a feel for them. Kind of just getting to know someone through a computer screen or through a telephone, you know, typing away, whether it's Plenty of Fish, Match, eHarmony, or whatever other kind of stuff on here. I've been on all of them and had the same, uh, the same thing kind of happen, the same um, experiences happen here. I'm not, I, I just kind of written off online dating for me. Online dating sucks. It's not used for what it's meant to be. And I'm just gonna start going to the bars and stuff like that. Even though I kind of really, I'm not a bar fly or anything like that. I don't really know how else to meet women if I'm gonna take online dating out of the equation. I really don't know. Uh, kind of what else to what really don't know what else to do so um what else has been going on here uh, i went to las vegas kind of got that out of the way my, probably my last time in vegas we were we stayed at the excalibur um had a really good time down there my it was just kind of more or less relaxing i went to see the red rock uh conversation area went to see the hoover dam went four hours into <laughs> that's a that's a story i'll probably make this a story here another time i'm going to the grand canyon Grand Canyon, guys, if you get to go to the Grand Canyon, do it. Go to the Grand Canyon. It's awesome. It's a 10-mile kind of, I think it's like a 10-mile square mile uh, canyon. And you guys can go right down in there, and they'll take you on tours and stuff, walking tours, uh, backpacking. You can do backpacking down there. You'll see the Colorado River kind of run right through there. It was a really neat. I was in awe of that place. That was, I, I will say, that's the most, the thing I most enjoyed when I went out west was that, um, that area uh, of the of the country there in Arizona. Then we kind of looped back through Flagstaff because there was a, uh, a forest fire going on, so we had to loop through that and come right back up and around and back into Las Vegas, which was a five, five, five and a half hour, almost six hour drive because we had to take the long way around. It was a long day, long, long day. Um, but yeah, you know, kind of doing stuff, getting this house done. There's some stuff I got to do in the barn. You kind of usually see in the background, uh, that's got to get addressed. So I got a lot of kind of projects to kind of going on here in the house. Um, I, I like this house, but guys, I kind of want to move back to where I'm at. Still going to do the stuff kind of back down to, um, south of the, um, to south of kind of where I'm at, about another 30 minutes out of the south. My parents kind of live right down there. Um, and kind of being with my friends and my family, being closer to them, because I kind of live up towards the Lansing area. And it's a half hour drive if I want to go see anybody, a good half hour drive if I want to do that. So kind of want to get back down that to that area so I'm not so far away from my, uh, from my friends, but. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, go oh, shout out to Shasha, Nebraska there. Thanks for, uh, kind of, kind of get me back in here to, and she's another one here too, back on the very first part of the video, uh, back saying, Hey, or kind of do the videos, do, just to go kind of do what you want. Uh, so big shout out to her. Uh, hers is kind of a very, very different channel than mine. Um, I, I'll put a, I'll put another card up here if you guys want to kind of see her kind of do her videos and all that. It's very, very different from what my my stuff is here. I'm just going to let you guys kind of make the assessment if you guys want to go keep continuing to watch her, subscribe her, or, 
uh, kind of do what you want here. So with that being said here, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Don't really have much more to say. I'm going to try to do these every month. I really don't know how long, Ron, goodness, how long are we on here for? Uh, oh, goodness, we're past the 10-minute mark. If you're back here at the 10-minute mark, just put a hashtag, made it to the end. I'll let you guys, I'll, I'll know who made it to the end if you guys made it to the end here. Put the thumbs up if you like this video. Put the thumbs down if you don't. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to. Go check out my other videos. Maybe kind of just want to kind of see what I talk about. I'm going to get more into the Tigers. I'm going to get more into the, uh, into the Lions here. Even though I don't think the Lions are going to be kind of doing the great this year with Dan Campbell being the, uh, uh, the head coach. So that's kind of a little bit of a prelude to that. Um, and uh, I, I know the Tigers have been doing well uh, as of late. They lost to, uh, two in a row to Kansas City at the, this point in time that this video was made. Hopefully they get back on the winning streak. At least try to be a 500 club. That's kind of, kind of where I'm at. So, Guys, I'm going to kind of leave it here. Like I said, put your comments, criticisms. Uh, opinions, anything, put the hashtag down there, like I said earlier down there in the comment section. Leave a like, do a subscribe. And if you don't want to do that, that really, it doesn't really matter to me. I just do this as a hobby, and uh, I, I hope to kind of get, regrow this channel to kind of where it's at here, guys. So with that being said, oh, I got to work on the outro here too, guys. So with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoy this video, and hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces. Take care, guys.